Abuja State, North Central Nigeria, is blessed with more than 9 million hectares of arable land, representing about 10% of the country's land mass. This land is suitable for cultivation of crops like rice and cassava. Despite this large expanse of land, farmers were unable to leverage on the benefits of its arability, but cultivated for decades without much yield due to poor agricultural practices, inadequate extension services, lack of access to agro input such as quality planting materials, fertilizers, and lack of access to mechanization services. The result is low yields of 2 to 3 metric tons per hectare of rice and 5 to 8 metric tons per hectare of cassava, which translates into low income that could really cater for their family needs. The intervention of the federal government, Niger State Government and the International Fund for Agricultural Development Assisted Value Chain Development Program aimed at improving the income and food security of poor rural households engaged in the production, processing and marketing of rice and cassava on a sustainable basis changed the narrative. So far, the program has profiled 32,400 beneficiaries, 17,402 males, 14,998 females, 23,632 producers, 7,376 processors, 1,392 marketers across eight local government areas of the state. These beneficiaries have received varieties of support from the project through capacity building, agro-input supports, mechanization supports, linkages to off-takers and financial institutions, value addition, construction of market infrastructure, farm access roads, provision of solar-powered boreholes, land development for continuous rice and cassava production, processing centers and others. If I received the PKM and I was trained on cassava stem multiplication in IITA, NRN, RCRI, Umudike, and in 2017, and from there, I was empowered with um, the stem, the startup stem, fertilizer, and uh, some herbicides. I receive for many things, like they take me for the training, agronomy training practice, many things like that. They teach me how to do the nursery bread. I'm linked to financial institution. Whenever I need a loan, I will, they know, I will normally go to financial institution to obtain a loan. This support brought about a rapid turnaround in the producer's yield, as rice producers now harvest six to seven metric tons per hectare against two to three tons, while cassava producers get a turnover of about 25 tons to 30 tons. To avoid post-harvest losses resulting from storage challenge, VCDP constructed six aggregation centers in response to ensure storage of rice paddy. The increase in yield of farmers has now transformed the standard of living to a more befitting way of life to enable them acquire several assets and diversification while linkage to financial institution has made them to thrive and expand their agribusiness. Last year I joined back a do marriage. I buy machine for, for myself. I build the house. I, I just finished my house. This year again, I the plant. If you just maybe next month, Andy, I'll build one house again. I was I'm able to build my house. I train my children in school. I myself I further my education. I'm now an HND holder due to this intervention of FIFAD VCDP, and uh, I'm now I'm planning to get 
my own personal tractor. In there because I know they work for me from the government again. I'm working from the cassava farm. Now we are see the thing was they come up from there. My children they are going from the school. I spend the, the money from my house and maintain my family from there. The success is recorded in the initial benefiting six local government areas is responsible for the additional VCDP financing with three additional local government areas of Burgu, Idati and Mokwa which now have more beneficiaries taking advantage of the series of interventions. Women empowerment, a major component of the program, is also receiving attention with the training of rice and cassava processors who were provided with a total of 22 processing centers equipped with modern facilities necessary for rice and cassava processing from start to finishing, well packaged in branded bags. The centers are in addition to the crutch built to give a conducive atmosphere for nursing mothers. With the help of infants now, we are able to get, we are, they gave us different machines. We have a, we have this a polishing machine, milling machine, distoner, and we have steaming and this thing, machine, and, and even packaging. Steam as it plenty. Now they do good rice because they give me training. And that one will help me. I train other women, both our member or those that are not our member. The women whose income has drastically improved can now own landed properties, train children in various institutions of learning, and can now do things independently as against total dependence on the men. With this empowerment, I can be able to help my husband pay the school fees, do some other things in the house. Even with this empowerment, I can be, I already bought a land on my own. If I have trained me, I'm no longer begging. Even though if I had the program stop in the next 15 years, mm, nothing like say beg or go start another this one, no. If I've already said to me. Water is a major sustenance necessary for survival. And so BCDP is addressing one of the sustainable development goals with the provision of potable water supply to not only its beneficiaries, but other adjoining communities. So far, 32 solar powered boreholes have been drilled in 28 communities and are effectively being utilized for both processing and domestic activities. Before we get water, we used to suffer to get water. Place is rich in two and a half kilometers. Where would they get, get water before? But since when they brought this one, we are enjoying it because it is closest to us. We fish it and cook, we drink in it. And many people used to come and fish it for, we, we, with us again. The tank, in fact, that bring this water for us. And we thank, thank, thank very much for their effort they are doing with us. So we are very grateful. Before they bring this water, we are suffering before we get water. The water is no good like that. Before we drink the water, we can keep the water before today okay. If you're taking it some time, you can't enjoy it to taking it. And by the time they bring this one for us, we are enjoying it. Now, we don't go far again. The water will close out to us. See our house, see the many people for their house now. Before, before, we have suffered the water. But now, what are they available? Before the house, or the worst, if one wants to rice, or go so far, go face water for inside river. Now, they don't bring this to put in the for us. Go not to don't help us. Or go see water anytime. Or go wash your eyes. Any um, bag, you go not turn bag, you carry in come. You go wash and wear way. You go clean wear way. You go cook and wear way. I'm not before. You now only two bag. Or go wash and or go suffer. Now water don't go anywhere. No wahala. Or go do what feeling. Or bath. Or do a dress. Or I was my mind and they're happy. Like you see water. Or go dress. Or go do what for water like that. Access to land 
which he thought was one major challenge of the smallholder farmers, was addressed with VCDP's initiative of land development as 430 hectares was developed for rice and cassava production in 11 communities across the participating local government areas in the state. We now have land before. And by the time if I had come, they will, they will develop land, 30 hectares for our 14 groups. So I'm thanking for that. Before access of the land is a problem for us. But when the visitor has come and brought the land for all by 50 development land, I myself, I have one hectare. One of the VCDP implementation strategies is the market-led approach, hence responding to the market needs of beneficiaries. Niger State VCDP constructed 10 blocks of market stores with eight blocks of market stores connected to roads. We appreciate IFA that built this market store for us. Before now, sun used to beat us, even rain. But now, we now have a place where we can put our things and even when the rain comes, we can easily take refuge there. 42 kilometer roads have so far been constructed. 48 culverts and three mini bridges were constructed to enable free movement of farm produce to markets. Yes, a few years back, this road, for you to be passing this, pass through this road, it is very difficult for you to have your access to pass this road. And uh, even the local community that goes to the farm, going to the market, they have faced a lot of challenges here. But in a few years back, like two years after, after they build the, uh, construct the, the culvert here, everybody have, everybody they have passed through this, this, this road where we enjoying it since last two years. With the support of the federal government and IFAD assisted VCDP, Niger State will continue to play a major role in the implementation of the federal government's initiative and agricultural policies that drive income growth, accelerate the achievement of food and nutritional security, generate employment and transform Nigeria into a leading player in the global food market to create wealth for millions of farmers and processors in the country. The project is doing excellently well. The project has done well. The project has impacted several lives in Ninja State and even across several other states that we're implementing this project. Uh, as I speak to you, jobs have been created. Over 30,000 jobs have been created across the board for our Timi youth. Uh, the project is building the capacity of our youth to ensure that uh, whatever uh, they are doing, uh, meet up with the uh, quality. We have developed lands. The yields of farmers have been increased. When we started, the yield of farmers in Niger State for rice production was 1.7 metric ton. But today, as I speak to you, we have an average, we are recording an average yield of 6.5. Some progressive farmers are even going up to 11, 12 metric ton per hectare. And apart from that, for cassava, the yield of cassava was 7 uh, metric ton per hectare. But today, as I speak to you, the yield of cassava has gone to 25 uh, metric ton per hectare. So this is a great uh, achievement that increased livelihood of the farmer. Their incomes are being increased. Many of the farmers are building new houses. Several of them are buying their cars. So as they go to their farms, they drive cars to their farms and they are being linked to the market. They are no glut any longer for rice production, no glut for cassava, because several people are looking for uh, are looking for the varieties that we are promoting. The project is doing excellently well, and above all, we are linking our farmers to off takers to financial institutions, uh, so that there will be sustainability in whatever we do in VCDP. Uh, the project has put the APES group in place, uh, which we call uh, Commodity Alliance Forum. This Community Alliance Forum involves several sectors. So even if VCDP closes today, this Commodity Alliance Forum that is being driven by the, uh, our, our beneficiaries, we continue to grow from strength to strength.
We want to thank the federal government of Nigeria and also the state government for keying into the uh, IFAD value chain development activities. Uh, the federal government had selected Niger State objectively uh, looking at some few criteria, the volume of rice production in Ninja State and the willingness of the state to pay counterpart funds and also the local governments uh, to pay their counterpart for contribution. At the state level, the state government is doing its best. Although with the program expected to exceed in no too distant time, BCDP's impact has been largely felt with glaring testimonies of beneficiaries, even though the program has arranged exit packages with linkage to Commodity Alliance Forum, CAF, to ensure sustainability of the program.